Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you all how to get MetaTrader 4 and 5 after it has been banned from the App Store. So you're going to be able to still get it here in 2023 and pretty much use it to go ahead and do whatever you want. You can still do trading, buying, and everything like that, guys, still without any issues. As you can see, I've been using it right here. Um, and yeah, this is still working perfectly fine and it will work on any iPhone. But what I'm going to do now is just flip over my camera and show you guys proof that it is working. And then I'm going to show you guys how to actually get it on your own iPhone or Android device. So let me go ahead and flip around. All right. As you guys can see, um, I'm on my iPhone here. And yes, MetaTrader 4 installed. It is completely working. MetaTrader 4 slash 5 banned bypass. Successfully bypassed apps or banned. Enjoy using the app. So we're going to tap OK. As you guys can see, it is fully functional. Um, and yeah, we can go ahead and use it. And just to show you guys, if I go in the App Store um, and I go over here and then I type in MetaTrader, you're going to see that it's not even like popping up anymore because it has been removed. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's nowhere to be found. They've completely removed it from the App Store. So luckily for us, though, with this method, it will you'll still be able to use the app. Um, and it literally takes only a couple of minutes to set up. So the first thing that we have to do, though, before we can actually, you know, uh, install the app, guys, is you just have to change some settings really quick on your iOS devices. Um, and this is just to ensure that your device is compatible for the install. Um, if you're on Android, you don't have to actually do this step. Um, only on iOS devices you do. So what you're going to do, guys, is open up your settings and scroll down a bit and go ahead and select battery. And then in battery, you're going to see low power mode. And you're just going to want to make sure that you guys have low power mode turned off exactly like how I have it there. And then once you guys do that, you're going to want to exit from there. And then you're going to go up a little bit and go to general. And then in general, you guys are going to scroll down and select um, background app refresh. So once you guys are in background app refresh, you're going to select it here in the top. And then you're just going to make sure that you have background app refresh turned on to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and sell your data. So as you guys can see, I have it turned on right now. It's Wi-Fi and sell your data. I mean, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and sell your data. And yeah, it's perfect. Just make sure that it's not off. And then once you guys do that, you're going to exit from here. And then um, you're going to scroll up a little bit and you're going to select the about option here. And then in about, you guys are going to make sure that your iOS version is above iOS 11. So as you guys can see, I'm on iOS 16.2. And then once you guys do that, um, that's going to be everything you have to do in general. But now we're going to scroll down a little bit and go on over to um, Safari. You're going to open Safari. And then once you guys are in Safari, you are going to go all the way down and go to advanced option here in the bottom and just go ahead and make sure that JavaScript is enabled exactly like that. So you'll know it's on because it will have like the green um, low, uh, color on it. And that's going to be all the settings that we have to change on iOS, guys. And like I said, Android, you don't have to do any of these setting changes. And now we're actually ready to go ahead and get ourselves the MetaTrader 4 app. So how do we get it? Well, it's simple. What you guys will do is open up your browser on your iOS or Android device, guys. And you're going to go over to this website, globetweak.com, guys. So just type this website in, globetweak.com. And uh, basically on this website, we're going to be able to go ahead and get the MetaTrader 4 app from here. Just go ahead and make sure you spell it correctly. And then you'll have a search bar on there and you just find uh, MetaTrader and then you install it and you guys should be good. But uh, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.